Hello, and welcome to the video. It's been a while. I think I've put out one video in the last however long, 10 days. Um, many of you will be aware that the reason for this is that I've had the virus, the dreaded virus, um, and I've been pretty ill with it. So videos went out of the window. Um, we did, we didn't switch off our eBay shop, but we extended our dispatch time for about a week. It's back to normal now. But it's been a pretty hellish couple of weeks. Um, it started two Saturdays ago. I pulled a muscle in my back, which has got nothing to do with the virus. But, um... Yeah, I did such an old man thing. I bent over to pick something up and sneezed and I felt a muscle down the right hand side of my spine. Twinge. And I thought, ooh, that's interesting. And then later on that day, I moved a box of stock and properly did it in. So anyway, that was going on. And then the next day, um, my aunt had a surprise retirement little gathering. So a bunch of the family got together for that. And um, a whole bunch of us came away with the virus, including me and my parents, uh, my uncle, various other family members. So I, I started having symptoms on the Tuesday um, and then it got dramatically worse. Um, currently, I am pretty much over it. I don't have any symptoms. Um, and my enforced quarantine, isolation, whatever you want to call it, ends on Sunday. I am. I will be a free man again on Sunday. I can't wait. But I thought I'd talk quickly about my experience of the virus. Um, but bear in mind, it's, it seems like it's a complete lottery as to how it affects you. Um, and of course, I, I've had both jabs. I've had, yeah, I've been double jabbed, which clearly doesn't stop you from getting it. We all know that, but it, it minimizes the effects of the virus and... I thank my lucky stars I've had that because it hit me like a truck and this is with the the double jabs um, my parents thankfully because they're in their 70s weren't as affected as bad as me <laughs> but that is a blessing because uh, my dad has some underlying health issues and with his age etc I was concerned um, but they seemed to to get off with it okay. I mean, Dad was quite ill, um, but seemed to recover fairly quick, which was great. But for me, I um, it started off, I just felt a bit out of sorts, a little bit nauseous on the Tuesday. By the next day, I was aching all over. And because I'd put my back out, I thought it was just to do with that. I thought it was the way I was holding myself because I couldn't really bend and I was in a lot of pain. I thought this was just my body being all achy because I'm holding myself funny because I've, I've pulled my back muscle. But no, this was the beginning of the onset of, of the virus. Um, the aching was severe. It was shoulders, elbows, I think, at some point. Uh, knees, ankles, um, like a fluey ache. And yeah, that wasn't fun. And then the, the fever started to hit. I would lay in bed feeling cold and shivery, but sweating. So, oh, the joy. Um, and that was on and off for a week or so. Um headaches I don't normally suffer from headaches but I've had some stinking headaches right here I had them 
mainly on the right hand side but just horrible headaches that they were fun and then a really weird kind of mental fog i've heard other people describe it as such and that is the best way to describe it like my brain slowed down couldn't think straight i would have rambling thoughts and repetitive thoughts um and it was like i was thinking in slow motion yeah one interesting effect of this that i had was that i would get these nerve pains down my legs and on the inside of my knees like shooting pains up and down my legs particularly when i was in bed trying to trying to sleep and i'd get these painful shooting pains up and down my legs like people were sticking pins in my legs yeah they were they were not fun never had that before that was unexpected yeah uh, such fun um what else what are the effects were there tiredness complete and utter lethargy as in i just didn't have the energy to do anything um and even recently last few days when the the symptoms seemed to have gone the aching the headaches and stuff kind of dissipated the tiredness creep will still creep up on me so i've been trying to get back incrementally into work so i do a couple of hours of work with our stores back on now Oh, here comes Andrea. She's just dropped off the mail because I'm still not allowed out of the house. And then think I'm absolutely fine. And then all of a sudden I would be wiped out and just have to go to sleep. <laughs> so the, the tiredness is lingering on. Um, but I think I'm there. And then on this Sunday I am, I think I just said, did I? Don't know. Brain fog. This Sunday is the end of my enforced uh, like quarantine period. And then I can go out. I can leave the house. <laughs> it will have been 10 days. Is it 10 days by Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 10 days on Sunday. And I'm going to be set free to go out and mingle again. Yeah. So that's been my experience of having the virus um it was not fun it really hit me for six um there were moments in it where i didn't i didn't know what day it was i didn't know what time it was time and days just were irrelevant um i did lose a lot of appetite uh that was another side effect yeah glad i'm out the other side of it touch wood so yes, that is why there has been um, no real content. I did actually put out a video, um, a Jumble Trail one in the middle of all of this. Um, maybe you saw that one. But I will slowly and surely get back into putting content out on here now. Um, our store is back on. Orders are coming in. I haven't listed anything for the last 10 days. Andrea has been listing uh, a lot of ceramics and that stuff is starting to to sell which is great I had a few uh, viewer orders of things that Andrew has been sharing on on YouTube and Instagram and stuff which is cool but yeah I am going to ease myself back into it and start listing like there's no tomorrow because we are well and truly into Christmas buying period now I've got a shed load of media I want to deal with over here why can't I point that way there we go <laughs> this lot uh, there's loads of vinyl in there that would be good to get on um, I've got another stack of board games I have actually been through and checked a load of those um, I could just about handle to stand around in here and check some board games um, so yeah I'm gonna get back into listing um, I need to pace myself because I'm still very tired um, I have very little energy but it's coming back we're getting there um, I'm glad to be out the other side of it 
Um, I'd be interested to know your experiences of the virus, if you've had it, um, how you were affected. Like I say, it was it was grim. I was very ill with it. I don't tend to get sick as well, but when I <laughs> when I do, I, yeah, it floors me. Um, yeah, it was miserable, properly miserable. So I am very very happy to be out of the other side of this. Um, and come Sunday, I will be frolicking around, <laughs> frolicking. <laughs> In the real world again. I'm looking forward to, to just going out and about and seeing people. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, the content will be um, coming again, hopefully, as we get back into listing uh, and hopefully selling loads of gear in this Christmas period. Um, thank you for bearing with me. And um, yeah, I will see you in some reselling video content soon hopefully um, take care thank you for watching uh, look after yourselves and I will speak to you soon bye